there and welcome back to Concierge CPA. I am Juliette and today we're going to learn about one of the fundamental pillars of accounting, the double entry system. We will uncover how this method ensures accuracy and reliability in financial records, discover the principles that govern this system, and we will explore its significance in maintaining the integrity of the financial data. We will wrap it all up with some good examples. In simple terms, the double entry system is a bookkeeping and accounting method that states every transaction has equal and opposite effects in at least two different accounts. It's like a perfectly balanced equation. Just like yin and yang, every debit has its credit, ensuring that the books remain in harmony. In the double entry system, transactions are recorded using debits and credits. A credit entry increases a liability account or decreases an asset account. While a debit entry does the opposite, it increases an asset account or decreases a liability account. Since a debit in one account offsets a credit in another, the sum of all debits must equal the sum of all credits. This ensures that the books remain balanced. If you haven't mastered the rules of debits and credits yet, I have a video on debits and credits that I think you will find very helpful and the link is down below. One of the key advantages of the double entry system is that it standardizes the accounting process and improves the accuracy of prepared financial statements. By requiring transactions to be recorded in at least two accounts, this system provides a built-in checks and balances, making it easier to detect errors and discrepancies. This level of accuracy is crucial for businesses, investors, and stakeholders who rely on financial data to make informed decisions. Let's explore the principles that govern the double entry system. There are three key principles to keep in mind. The principle of duality, the principle of equality, and the principle of recording. The principle of duality means that every transaction affects at least two accounts, with one being debited and the other credited. This duality keeps the equation in balance. The second principle is the principle of equality. According to this principle, the total value of debits must always equal the total value of credits. This balance demonstrates that all financial activities have been accounted for correctly. And the third principle we're going to discuss is the principle of recording. The double entry system requires meticulous recording of transactions in appropriate accounts. Each transaction is recorded in a journal and subsequently transferred to the general ledger, providing a comprehensive overview of financial data. Now that we understand the principles, let's explore the significance of the double entry system in maintaining the integrity of financial data. This system serves as a crucial tool for businesses and organizations in several ways. Number one, accuracy. By recording transactions in two accounts simultaneously, the double entry system minimizes the chance of errors and ensures accurate financial reporting. Number two, detection of errors. Any discrepancy in the books becomes apparent when the debits and credits don't match. This allows accountants to identify and rectify errors promptly, maintaining the accuracy of financial records. Number three, financial analysis. The double entry system provides a solid foundation for financial analysis. It enables businesses to generate accurate reports, such as balance sheets and income statements, which aid in decision-making and performance evaluation. Let's look at some examples to see this double entry system in action. Imagine you're running your own lemonade stand. You got your lemons, your sugar, and your trusty cash register. Now, every time you make a transaction, whether it's buying lemons or selling cups of lemonade, there are two sides. Something is given and something is received, or vice versa. Let's say you buy lemons from a supplier. You give them $10 and you receive the lemons. One side of the transaction is the cash going out. But what about the other side? Aha! Uh -huh. That's where the double entry system comes in. The lemons received is the other side that must be recorded. Let's say you sell a cup of lemonade for $2. What happens next? Well, once again, we have two sides to the transaction. You record the increase in your cash account because you received money, and in the other side of the accounting equation, you increase your revenue. So let's consider these four common simple transactions. Buy an inventory with cash. You debit your inventory, an asset account, and you credit your cash, which is also an asset account. Receiving payment from a customer. You debit your cash, which is an asset account, and you credit your accounts receivable, also an asset account. 
paying off a loan. You debit your loan payable, which is a liability account, and you credit your cash, which is an asset account. Recording depreciation of equipment. You debit your depreciation expense and you credit accumulated depreciation, which is a contra asset account. In essence, it's reducing your equipment account. Now, can you see how the double interest system is a fundamental accounting concept that ensures accuracy and reliability in financial statements? It provides a systematic way of recording, classifying, and summarizing financial transactions. Since every transaction has equal debits and credits, any discrepancy in the books will be immediately apparent. This makes it easier to identify and rectify errors, ensuring the integrity of the financial statements. By following this system, businesses can maintain accurate records, analyze their financial position, and make informed decisions. And that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed our deep dive into the double entry system. Remember, accurate financial records are the backbone of any successful business. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more exciting accounting insight. Thank you for watching. See you next time.